Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Today I'm going to talk about AMD stock, ticker symbol AMD, currently priced at $120 per share, past year up 55%, past five years up 778%. So you can see this is a very high growth stock in the long term. At one point it was up to $155 per share and recently took a little dip. Taking a look at what AMD does, they engage in the provision of semiconductor businesses, and some of their business segments include computing and graphics, uh, embedded, and semi-custom. So a lot of different applications for these chips, GPU chips. Market cap is $196 billion. P ratio is 44, and dividend yield is zero, which means they're reinvesting all profits back into growth. Taking a look at the analyst ratings out of the 39 who reported, 59% give it a buy, 38% give it a hold, and 3% give it a hold. Taking a look at the actual earnings report, which was reported on February 1st of 2022 on fourth quarter and full year results. You can see the overall journey, best product portfolio in history, expanding customer and partner ecosystem, significant business acceleration and best in class financial performance, leading technology, great portfolio. Take a look at the financial summary of fiscal year 2021. You can see 68% year over year, very high double digit growth, gross margin of 48%. So it's great to see that they're making money in their business, significant growth in profitability in terms of the operating margin, 22%. And operating cash flow up 229% year over year. Record free cash flow up 314% year over year. A uh, very strong balance sheet with $3.6 billion in cash. So it's great to see that kind of uh, holding, uh, especially during bad times. They need that cash to stay afloat, maintain their business. And the fact that they repurchased $1.8 billion of common stock means they're confident in their company and a long-term outlook. I'm taking a look at the quarterly summary of Q4 2021. You can see up 49% year over year and 12, up 12% 12 quarter over quarter. Gross margin of 50%. Uh, operating expense, $1.2 billion. Strong quarterly profit, uh, profitability. So similar story in terms of this quarter very strong revenue growth, gross margin, as well as profitability, operating cash flow up 48% year over year, free cash flow up 53%, and repurchased $756 million of common stock. So it's great to see this level of confidence and growth year over year and quarter after quarter. In terms of their breakdown of the segments, let's take a look at the computing and graphic segments, up 32% year over year. Higher average selling prices, and they have uh, strategic news and highlights in terms of newer uh, product innovation and portfolio. Taking a look at the enterprise embedded and semi custom segment, up 75% year over year. So it's a very high growth revenue, 2.2 billion. And you can see revenue trend, 49% year over year. Ever since Q1 2020, you can see that ramp up quarter after quarter. So very strong demand and growth in the revenue. Gross margin trend, you can see 50%. So overall, it's been growing steadily quarter after quarter. And you can see relative to Q4 2020, it's a very significant growth in terms of their gross margin expansion. Now, in terms of EPS earnings per share trend, up 105% uh, year over year, right now 80, per, uh, 80 cents. Great to see that kind of earnings per share trend growth as well. Significant growth in profitability, which is great for shareholders. Um, earnings per share trend in terms of non-GAAP, up 77% year over year. So uh, pretty, yeah, pretty similar story uh, compared to GAAP. Strong profitability growth. In terms of Fiscal year 2021, summary profit and loss. You can see revenue up 68%, gross profit up 82%, operating expenses up 44%, operating income up 166%, net 
net income up 27% and earnings per share up 25%. This is very impressive numbers and growth across the board in terms of revenue, profit, uh, net income. Great to see that growth. I won't go into non-GAAP because I, I rather focus on the generally accepted accounting principles. So overall, in terms of AMD, I really like their growth. Now taking a look at the, the segment results, up 45% in net revenue for computing and graphics, embedded and enterprise semi-custom, up 113% net revenue, so great to see that growth. All other down 46%, total up 68% net revenue. So very impressive across all segments. Um, and I, I really like that kind of growth in the long term. So that's all for this video. My opinion on this stock, I don't have AMD position. I do have exposure to NVIDIA, which is a competitor, but very similar trajectory and growth long term. Very solid revenue, uh, profitability, net profit, uh, also profit margin, very profitable company. And I could see that as the demand for GPU chips continue to grow, AMD will benefit from that across the board, whether it's um, computing, uh, self-driving car technology, the metaverse, all GPU chips uh, in, the, in the industry will benefit, including AMD. I, won't have, I don't have any shares and won't plan on buying any, but NVIDIA I'll hold for the long term. That's all for this video. What are your thoughts on AMD stock? Comment down below. My referral links below. Both of us get $20 for using personal capital or a free stock for using Robinhood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.